I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we're standing on today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Today, on the other side of the world, in villers bretonneux there's a small delegation representing New South Wales on the Western Front at the Anzac Commemoration Service. And as we speak, Premier Rees, RSL President Don Rowe and 12 outstanding school students are attending the dawn service where it all began, representing the people of New South Wales on the sacred soil of Gallipoli. The presence of Australians in France and Turkey 94 years after the first Anzac Day and our presence here at services in every Australian city and town are proof that this nation continues to understand the true values of the original Anzacs. The Anzacs at Gallipoli showed, as so many service people have done since then in other wars and conflicts, that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when circumstances require. So much of what we commemorate about the Anzacs is about character. It's about the ordinary soldiers, most of them civilian volunteers and conscripts, who heeded their country's call. Knowing the danger, knowing the risk, it is they who did the fighting, and it is they who did the dying. And their mates were sent home, often wounded in mind and body, to pick up whatever pieces they could. And in that light, it is fitting that Anzac Day is dedicated to the ordinary yet extraordinary men and women who were and are Australians at war. The millions who proudly wore the uniform from Sudan to Iraq and the 100,000 who made what we rightly call the supreme sacrifice. Supreme not just because they died, but because in dying, they gave all they had. Your Excellency and distinguished guests all, I want to begin this Anzac Day address with a quote from James A. Garfield. For the love of country, they accepted death. And I want to propose to you that on this Anzac Day 2009, we could do with a little bit more of love of country. What do I mean? I mean appreciation for what we have, including the freedom we enjoy because of the sacrifice of others. A love of country seen in commitment, in dedication, in service, in sacrifice. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them for the years to death. With the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them as we forget. Ha 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 ha!